Located on the southwest tip of England is Penzance. Today, the economy of the former tin mining and fishing town relies heavily on tourism. But what drew Transworld Sport to this picturesque part of Cornwall was not the beaches, landscape or laid-back pace of life, rather the chance to meet up with a world champion. This shy and demure mother of two has lived in and around Penzance all her life. A modest sporting childhood culminated in the school record for high jump, but it's not in athletics where Julie excels. Taking good care of her feet with regular fish pedicures is important to this 34-year-old, as it's her feet which have helped bring her world domination. Julie Kitchen is a 13-time kickboxing world champion. Trained by her husband, Nathan, she competes mostly in Muay Thai. She's won world titles across five different weight divisions. Surprisingly, Julie didn't take up this sport until relatively late on in life, after the birth of her twin daughters ten years ago. To lose weight, she decided to attend Thai boxing lessons, which were being taught by Nathan. It wasn't until I actually had my children, Amber and Alea. I think they were about two, maybe three years old, and I was still carrying a little bit of baby weight. My mum and dad said that they would babysit for me so I could go along and do a little bit of exercise, get back into shape. And uh, it was just nice because I got to spend some extra time with Nathan also. Um, just like, after a couple of weeks training, I just really, I was like, wow, I'm buzzing. I haven't done exercise for ages. I was really enjoying it. <coughs> Even her husband couldn't believe that his mild-mannered wife would instantly take to the martial art. Well, everyone who knows Julie just knows that she was like the person that would walk in her room and go red um, if someone spoke to her. She, you know, she'd be the person that would just so unconfident of herself. Um, for her to train in Muay Thai and fight is, was just, you know, I mean, everyone said it's just an unreal prospect. <laughs> But I said, you know, if you knuckle down, you put the work in, yeah, I'll put you in. And um, she surprised everyone. Julie's career started with mixed success. Due to the lack of female Muay Thai fighters in the UK, it wasn't long before she found herself up against some of the toughest competitors in her division. I'd done a few fights, um, which I, I, I won, and then I was kind of put in the ring quite early with a few of the top girls, and at one point my record wasn't all that great. I had quite a few losses, um, more than my wins. Under the careful guidance of her husband, Julie continued to train and was undeterred by those early losses. The turning point in her career came during a trip to London to watch two fighters who had both previously beaten her. When one of the women failed to make the weight, Julie stepped in as a last-minute replacement and won. From then on, her confidence grew and the titles soon began to accumulate. Yet it took a while before her success began to sink in. Even when she won her first world title, you know, like people win world titles, it doesn't make them the best in the world. Um, they've got a version of a world title. Um, obviously, 13 world titles later, and, you know, she is stamped as number one under full rules at the moment, um, which is, you know, it's, it's an amazing achievement. Nicknamed the Queen of Muay Thai, Julie has amassed a record of 44 wins from 52 fights. She's fought and won all over the world and has even performed as part of the King of Thailand's birthday celebrations. Last month, the 34-year-old made her debut in the newly formed Muay Thai Premier League, which culminates in Thailand next year. In her opening fight of the series, Julie beat Martina Jindrova of the Czech Republic in Los Angeles. Having travelled extensively throughout her career, the Englishwoman has built up a global fan base. OK, there we go. 
probably get more recognition when I travel away from my hometown. If I land in Thailand, I have people coming up and ask me for my autograph and you know, it, and it makes me feel really special and I do like it when I go away because I have worked hard and it's nice to be recognised for that. Having achieved so much on their own, including Julie becoming the first British woman to win a WBC belt, the Kitchens put their success down to their relationship, both in and out of the gym. We're definitely a force to be reckoned with and a, and a cracking team. You know, um, that's the beauty of us. I don't just say goodbye to my student. You know, we go home together and, um, you know, she's got me going on and in her, in her ear at all times. So, um, you know, we are a, a, a brilliant team. I've definitely learned to listen to him. Um, maybe in my first few fights, I'd go back to the corner, he'd tell me to do something, and I'd go out and do my own thing, but it's all a learning curve. Um, and I think that's why I'm so strong. If I didn't have him, I might not train quite so hard, and I think it's our tight-knit team that makes me number one. Julie also works with a personal trainer. Jan Czerwinski is a former natural bodybuilding champion and helps out with Julie's strength and conditioning work. He believes that keeping things short and simple is the key to successful training. Let's go, press. Pass it on the way down. Press. We get the most out of the least. It's 20 minutes per person usually to 30 minutes for strength training. That's twice a week. So it's 40 minutes out of a week to 10 days, which I suppose when you stack it up, it's uh, probably no more regular than you brushing your teeth every day. Due to the lack of funding and support in Britain for Muay Thai fighters, Julie and Nathan work hard to promote themselves and to raise the money needed to train and travel overseas. The couple also spend six evenings a week coaching at their Touch Gloves gym. Running fitness classes as well as training a string of junior champions, the gym has become a focal point for the town. Uh, we've got children's club, uh, I'd say around 30 to 40 children when they come in and train and adult classes again the same 30 40 maybe a few more i think maybe because it's a family run gym it kind of gives that vibe so as soon as new people walk in it's really welcoming um, all of our students are like our closest friends so it's really really nice gym and atmosphere julie and nathan's 12 year old twin daughters amber and alea have always been a part of life at touch gloves and they're now competing at the junior level where they've won a whole host of competitions yet despite their success mum julie still finds it hard to watch her little girls take to the ring when i watch them fight i'm more nervous than them when i'm fighting it is quite Oh, I have tears in my eyes. It is really hard. Um, but because of their age, it's no head contact at the moment. They've got body armor on, they've got shin guards on, so it's only the top of their leg that's exposed that could get some bruises. But um, I can definitely see, like, Ryan and Nathan streaking them when they're in that ring. It's, they don't want to lose, they want to win. And so far, they have been. Yeah. With the twins continuing to improve under the watchful eye of mum and dad, it seems that the kitchen's domination of Muay Thai is set to continue for many years to come.